Ivoire, the first world producer of cashew nuts, and we, the third world transformer, and the first African transformer of cashew nuts. As we know, West Africa produces around 45% of the raw cashew nuts um, for the world supply, but we process here less than 10%. So our vision is that we exponentially increase this amount. Enacting regulations and laws that will help uh, farmers to focus on what they are supposed to do and to produce very quality, internationally competitive products, such that they will have higher value and higher markets at international uh, markets. This year, there are, despite the challenges of the pandemic, there have been candidates who have come in physically as well as they have joined us virtually. So that way, it was a good experience. What was important in this conference is we shared a lot of experiences from production, processing and marketing. I'm recalling the speech of the Prime Minister in the inauguration when he said that uh, cash trade now, it has come time to be win-to-win -win situation. Because if we don't do it, we are all going to be losers. Long friendship start with speaking to each other frankly and honestly. No country in the world has been able to be developed just by selling raw products. The time has come now for us to sit together and to talk together very frankly. This is the way to live long, to grow high, and to move fast. I want to congratulate the organizers to bring so many experts, traders, processors from virtually all over the world together to deliberate about the next steps in the cashew sector, how to get it more sustainable, meaning how we can be more economically viable, how we can be more competitive worldwide in Africa, but also in all other countries of the world. For any investor, the biggest challenge is a surety of quality raw material and that too all around the year. I was meeting a lot of processors during these last two days and the biggest problem that they say is we are not sure about the assured quality and enough quantity of raw material. I was uh, on the financing panel yesterday and uh, it was very interesting and uh, what I noticed is that we had a lot of progress in the cashew sector in a few years and uh, so it has been a wonderful event for all actors to meet WCC 2022. What we currently see in West African processing companies, while the majority of the processing staff are women, they're traditionally found in the lower paying seasonal jobs and we'd like to change that. We'd like to see more women and the higher paying stable jobs as leaders in these companies in technical and managerial roles. We know women are great leaders. We need more of that. Here at the World Cashew Conference, we'd like to expose them to more women are inspired to grow and take roles. Technology, processing, financing, those were actually what brought us because we wanted to hear from the experts and we wanted to meet with uh, experts. We wanted to get new knowledge on what is happening and to know where to go and where to put funds. We have a very good uh, debate and discussion within the cashew woman and also within the, all the key players of the cashew value chain, especially on the finance uh, part, which is, uh, as we discuss, it's really a key challenge for the all key players involved in the cashew supply chain to have access to funding. We also discuss a lot about the sustainability of the cashew supply chain. 
Yes, 100%. There is no hesitation to say that this is the opportunity to all the exporters and the suppliers from Ivory Coast to expose themselves to a platform where to the world was looking for. Policy advocacy is going to be an important role that we are going to play so that it ensures that there is an incentivization of local transformation. If you don't regulate a system, there is no way you can have development coming up. I also feel that the topics that were being discussed were very relevant when it came to processing in Africa, when it has come to the market of raw nuts and kernels. So holistically, it was good experience. I feel all the delegates over here will have something significant to take back home and then implement it in their businesses. First of all, I should thank uh, Commodity Info for this uh, initiative. I believe the journey started in 2015. It's been following an upward trajectory. It keeps getting better by each year. You can see the quality of um, participants here. Good participation. I see a lot of uh, interested uh, traders and uh, processors and uh, machinery suppliers uh, with uh, 28 odd uh, participants at the exhibition, and uh, it's been organized well, I should say. It's an exposure to a lot of other companies and other ventures in business, so we are very proud to be here, and it's very well organized. We are meeting some of our potential buyers also here buyers and traders for the Europe market and US market also. So re we're really happy about this WCC organization and thank you very much for WCC also. I am the only person who has attended all the World Cashew Convention. This initiative by the World Cashew Convention has become very popular in all origins, major origins like India, Vietnam, Ivory Coast, Benin and thank you. Thank World Cashew Convention for this fantastic business meet. I'm delighted to be here to witness a really good event, very well organized amidst difficult challenges at a difficult time for everyone. So congratulations to Eventel, to their partners, to the staff for an organization of an event that's really reflected the current situation of the cashew industry globally. It's a uh, very important uh, window, you know, to see globally what's going on in the industry, what's the trends, exchange with all the experts. I think it's very constructive and helpful in our business in the following. I look forward to the next Kishu Global Conference and seeing the kind of results we will be bringing to the table from the feedback we've gotten from this place so far.